One evening, Raj was trying to switch on the TV, but it wouldn't switch on. He tried everything possible and eventually asked his mom for help. She came and saw that the TV plug was not connected to the power socket. And finally, the TV was switched on. Suddenly, Raj realized that everything in his home, such as TV, fridge, washing machine, required some energy to work. But how do humans get their energy? We certainly don't plug ourselves to a socket. So, he switched on his computer and started watching a video about how energy is produced in the body. In the video, he saw there were two mechanisms by which energy is produced. That is, aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is a three-step process, in which firstly a 6-carbon glucose molecule from a digested food is broken down in the cytoplasm of the cell to produce a 3-carbon molecule called pyruvate. The process of breaking down glucose to pyruvate in the cytoplasm is called glycosis. In the second step, the pyruvate moves from the cytoplasm to the mitochondria. In the mitochondria, pyruvate in the presence of oxygen is further broken down to produce energy, carbon dioxide and water molecules. The energy is used to produce 38 molecules of endocyne triphosphate ATP, which provide energy for all the activities of the cell. The entire process of aerobic respiration can be summarized with the following formula. C6H12O6 plus 6O2 gives me 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus 38 ATP. Rod started to wonder what will happen in case we don't get oxygen. How does anaerobic respiration produce energy? When we perform strenuous activities such as running or lifting weights, the muscle cells do not get enough oxygen. In the absence of oxygen, the muscle cells quickly switch from aerobic to anaerobic respiration. During anaerobic respiration, glucose is broken down to pyruvate in the cytoplasm of the muscle cells. Since oxygen is absent, pyruvate does not enter the mitochondria. The pyruvate is modified to lactic acid and only two ATPs are produced. Accumulation of lactic acid causes muscle pain and soreness. When we perform strenuous activities, while all the cells of the body perform aerobic respiration, only the muscle cells have the ability to switch to anaerobic respiration and produce energy. Thus, humans can perform both aerobic and anaerobic respiration simultaneously. Raj was so amazed to understand that humans can perform both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Oh no, his computer turned off. This time he checked the plug, but the power supply was out. Alright then. That's all for today. See you next time.